it's Tamika Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, I do appreciate you coming back again. It has been such a crazy week. I've been trying to film this video since Monday. It's now Friday. So if that's any indication of all that I've had going on this week, I swear I just, I don't know, life has been lifing me, I guess. <laughs> so here we are, Friday, and I'm happy to finally be making this video. I'm hoping to get it put up tonight as well. So happy Friday, you guys. Um, hope you've had a wonderful week. My week has been absolutely insane, but you know, it's just what it is. But I'm very happy. It's now Friday and we're going into the weekend. We also have family that will start arriving this weekend for the holidays. So I'm super excited. We're going to have a house full and um, I'm looking forward to it. I know it's probably going to be a bit stressful because everybody is going to be trying to spoil the baby, but I'm still looking forward to it. <laughs> Today's video, we are going to discuss my five most used luxury handbags in 2022. When I first saw this video, um, I was looking at another person's uh, channel that I follow, uh, Candy Sweet Love for LV, and I'll tag her down below. And she had did this video and I commented on the video and she was like, oh, you should do it too. So this is technically a tag video and there's a few uh, YouTubers I'm gonna tag as well. I will post uh, Candy's video down below regarding her, you know, five most used uh, luxury handbags for 2022 as well. So as we're discussing my five bags today, I'm not gonna present them in any particular order because it's really hard for me to designate a favorite. They're all my favorites. I mean, most of my bags are my favorites. So I'm gonna just, you know, pick them up and show you, but not gonna put them in, you know, least the best or what have you. So we're gonna start with the beautiful on Prompt Neverfull MM. This bag um, is definitely one of my favorites and probably, I would say, probably my most used bag of this year. Um, funny story, I've never been a Neverfull girl. This is the first one I've owned. Um, I always thought that the Neverfull was just too, too popular um, and there were a lot of replicas. So I just, I've never been into the Neverfulls until I got this one. And I'm glad that I did. So it's black on front leather with the jumbo um, LV monogram. The inside is this beautiful navy blue. And I do have an organizer um, inside that uh, I purchased from Amazon. So I'm gonna just take it out. But um, the purse also comes with a pochette and it's the same material color font as the handbag right and it comes with a little strap and you can actually wear this like over the shoulder most neverfulls only allow you to carry them um like this as a wristlet but this one actually allows for you to carry it over the shoulder on the inside of the pochette it's the same beautiful blue color and sometimes I carry just, you know, the bag. And sometimes date nights, I'll just take this little shut with me. I don't really attach another um, strap because you could technically add like a gold strap and, you know, connect this and make it longer. But I don't really swap out the straps. I haven't to date. I just, you know, I carry it like this. But it's such a cute little um, clutch, you know, for date nights or what have you. So on the inside of the bag, there is one big pocket and um, I think I have stuff in the pocket probably because I use this bag a lot when traveling. Um, I take it as uh, my personal item um, on the plane when I'm traveling. So I use it a whole lot for sure. Um, yeah, I just have some headphones in that pocket and a pen. But um, on the inside without the organizer, you know, it's just this one big space. I absolutely love this handbag and I kind of feel like I've missed the boat because had I known how versatile the Neverfull was, I probably would have bought one way before now. But I am happy that I did start out with this particular one, meaning in the on front leather. I am debating on getting a GM to use for traveling. 
um, in the Dominate Bean because I, I like that print a lot. But funny story, my CA knew that um, I really didn't too much care for Neverfulls. So when this bag was coming out, you know, I reached out to her. I was like, I really think I'm going to want it. You know, it's black leather. I think it'll work well, you know, for me. Um, and so I pre-ordered it. Once it arrived in store, she was so excited. Um, she sent me a little video and I'm going to insert it. Hey, Kameka, you have a look. <laughs> Inside. I need Beautiful. Yeah. And so once I got to the store and saw it in person, I was just like ecstatic. I was like, oh my God, that's such a beautiful bag. My cousin ended up getting one, um, getting a never full, but I tried to talk her into getting it in, you know, the leather, but she went with the Damier Abin um, MM as well. But um, after owning this bag, now I see what the hype is about. I mean, this is just such a workhorse. I carried it to work a lot. Whenever I was traveling, um, road trips, anything to do with traveling, I pretty much had this bag, mostly without the organizer um, because I would stuff, you know, things in it. Like when I was traveling, I would put other purses inside this bag, you know, to take as my personal item if they didn't all fit in my carry-on. But um, I just, I really think that this was probably one of my best purchases ever. Um, and I absolutely love this Neverfull. Um, and I, I do think, oh, well, I do know. <laughs> I'll have this in my collection forever. Um, on the Neverfulls, you can cinch the sides in, but I don't really carry it that way. But you can pull these straps to, you know, make it more so this shape. But I don't really do that. I think with a GM, I would probably do it. But not with the MM because I'm, I'm pretty good with uh, this size. So this is my first bag that I carried um, a lot <laughs> in uh, 2022. The next bag that I carried often is this beautiful Montaigne BB. And now this color is discontinued. Um, this beautiful navy blue with uh, the red detailing. I'm pretty sure they still sell this bag in the um, monogram, like the canvas coated monogram, but definitely um, in this colorway and this material, it's discontinued. Um, I purchased this while I was in Europe and I quickly loved her. Um, I think the reason I love her so much is because she can be like a cute little top handle or she converts to a crossbody which is what I loved. And it was a long enough crossbody for me because I am part of the tall girl committee. I am 5'8", sometimes 5'8 and a half on a good day. But um, I like the fact that this purse wore very well crossbody. So I found myself um, taking it out a lot, especially shopping. I really liked that it was just such easy access to get in and out. And the strap was long enough that I could carry it crossbody. Um, this the strap is not adjustable. It is just detachable and it's the same beautiful blue with the red uh, lining as the purse. On the purse, there's these three spots. So there's, you know, one side and on this side, there's two, you can see that, two pockets. This side, there's another pocket and I have something in the pocket. It's a Gucci um, business card. <laughs> I told you, I like to shop. And then in the center, there is a zip pocket and I don't believe I have anything in that one yet. And so when I would shop, I like to keep like my keys and cash um, on the zip pocket if I was carrying um, cash or, or, or euro. Um, sometimes I would put my wallet in the zip pocket and it was just for extra security because the purse doesn't zip closed, but there is a hook here that you could close it, but I never really closed it like this either because it just would make it much harder to get in and out. So I, I kind of always leave it open like this and just put my most important items in the zipper. Um, and yeah, so this purse has feet at the bottom. So these four um, dots right here and on the sides, just smooth leather. 
and then the front has the uh, Louis Vuitton logo. And then there's these hints of um, gold here and they just say Louis Vuitton on, on both sides. And then all of the uh, hardware is also gold. So yeah, this purse, absolutely love. I'll insert a picture um, of me carrying it, but this was definitely top five that I used in 2022. Next up, we have the On The Go MM in reverse monogram, and this is also in the jumbo print. So on the front, it's the traditional monogram, you know, the brown with the tannish color. And then on the back, it's the reverse. On the sides, one side is in reverse and the other is in the traditional monogram. What I love about this bag more than anything is the inside color. And I have an organizer in this one as well. Um, again, this organizer came from Amazon. But this beautiful red, oh my goodness, it's just so vibrant. I just love when you're carrying it, you can see the hints of red. I love that now it has this black leather strap. Um, the previous edition of this bag had um, reverse monogram straps, but there were a lot of quality issues. So Louis Vuitton changed it and replaced it um, to have these black leather straps. And I, I do think it actually adds a nicer touch to the bag. It's more that true um, reverse monogram feel because most monogram has black leather accents. Um, when you're not carrying it top handle, you would carry it as a tote on either side. And the side I carry it on also depends on what I'm wearing for the day um, on, uh, to show you know which side I want um, to be more visible uh, to those walking past. But, this purse, although I love it and I carried it a lot, um, mostly to work, it does get a bit heavy. It's a heavy purse. Um, I debated on buying the um, On The Go GM in the black Empreinte, but I was a little afraid because I knew if this purse is this heavy, buying it bigger would just make it even heavier. So I didn't really know that I would utilize it enough to substantiate buying it. So. I'm still on the fence about it, maybe one day, but not today. Um, on the inside of the purse, there is one pocket, and then there's also two slip pockets. Sorry, I'm out of frame right here. And in the zip pocket, I have keys and a mask. So, so this is definitely another one of my most used bags in 2022, and I'll insert a little clip um, of me carrying it. Next up is my baby, the reverse monogram Pochette Matisse. And I absolutely love this bag. This is probably my most used bag in 2022, 2021, 2020. <laughs> like this is always one of my most used bags. Um, I just absolutely love the Pochette Matisse. Um, it's just such a versatile bag and it just, it gets the job done. It has a back zipper, which most people love because you can easily put your phone in the zipper without needing to open the purse. But um, I just absolutely love the reverse print. Um, in monogram, this is a beautiful bag as well, but it's just something about the reverse monogram. I just absolutely love it. It has, you know, the black leather accents for the handle and the little tab right here. It's gold hardware, as you can see, with the little S-lock closure right here. And so to open the bag, you just press these two and you open it. And I, I do like to keep the straps um, to my bags inside of the bag, but it has this um, adjustable, yep, adjustable and detachable strap. So it definitely is tall girl friendly. Um, and uh, I mean, no matter what your height is, I think you would love this bag. So yeah, so this is the strap, but on the bag itself, there is a front spot, a middle spot, and then a back spot. And then of course, like I said, there's a back pocket. So on the inside, it's microfiber uh, fabric. Um, absolutely love this bag. This, this back is slip pocket right here. I normally put like extra stuff. Um, usually I have my wallet in the first one 
the second I usually have some type of mini pochette or my toiletry 15 and then this is like a just an extra pocket that I throw additional items in but I absolutely love this bag um yeah I I carry this bag a lot um while the tote and the neverfull I carry those a lot for like work or traveling this I just carry on a day-to-day -day basis um out and about sometimes to work date nights, mall, you name it, <laughs> more than likely I was carrying this purse. And I just absolutely love this purse. I think that this was probably one of the best designs in my humble opinion um, that Louis Vuitton could have ever done. And they, you know, this purse does come in multiple colorways. It comes in leather, different colors. It comes in empreinte. It comes in um, jumbo print, bicolor. Um, it just, yeah. And now it comes in the East West and I, I did, uh, purchase that one as well. And I did a review video for that a few videos back, but I'll link it down below. But yeah, so this is definitely one of my favorites of the bunch. Last but not least is the toiletry 19. Most people would classify this as a SLG, small leather good, but I use it as a clutch. So to me, it's a purse. Um, I don't use it like for holding cosmetics or anything toiletry related. I, I only use it as a clutch and most of the time it's for some type of date night. Um, I bought a insert to convert this toiletry, which doesn't have a strap or anything, um, so that I can either use it as like a crossbody or add some type of chain or strap to it. And I'll, I'll show you as, as we progress with discussing this purse. So the toiletry has one open space. So there's one zipper with a little tab, um, gold hardware, and just one open space. This bag is very pliable. It's, you know, monogram, um, canvas coated monogram, very durable. Um, technically you could definitely get this part wet, but probably not this far. <laughs> the Vachetta, um, you know, can obtain like watermarks or stuff like that. So, um, most people do treat the Vachetta with some type of apple guard, um, which I do too, but I wouldn't like just put this out in the rain and let it get wet. <laughs> um, so the inside you can wipe it right so that's why it's a toiletry because if you're using it for like cosmetics you know foundation powder it could get dirty on the inside but you can wipe it so this is just i think that's what makes this such a great little bag so like i said i don't use the bag as a toiletry right to hold my toiletry items i use it only as a clutch so what I did was I bought an insert off of Amazon and this insert came with D rings, as you can see. And it's just, you know, I think if this is like some type of suede material, but it's just, you know, these two D rings. And what that does is allow for you to add a strap to this purse, right? Cause I, I consider it a purse, not a SLG. So when you put the organizer in it, right? You come, these two D-rings, push it up a little bit so you can see. So you now have these two D-rings. And to those two D-rings, I add some type of chain. So this particular chain, I usually use this the most um, to carry with this bag. I bought this last May. Um, you guys might be familiar with Marquita LV Luxury on um, both YouTube and Instagram, but she has an accessories um, company, Swag My Bag Accessories. So I bought this chain from her website. Um, when I was looking for different straps, and this was not the first strap I bought, most were like, I wanted like this kind of like big gothy look, right? But I didn't want it to be heavy. Um, and I didn't want it to tarnish or, or anything like that. Out of all the straps I've tried, I love this one the most. And I use this basically 100% of the time. I'll insert a few um, pictures of me carrying this um, as a clutch uh, so that you can see what I'm talking about. 
But um, all I do is attach the chain to the little D-rings and it becomes an instant clutch with some type of pop. So here you have it. And most of the time when I carry it, it looks something like this. And a lot of the times this is used for date night. Um, I'm very, well, me and my husband, we try to be very intentional with date nights um, because yeah, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> um, we try to be very intentional with date nights, even if it's just something as simple as going to get ice cream, but because you know, we were in Europe, so we went on gelato dates a lot. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I would carry this. And I mean, with this chain, you can dress it up or dress it down. Um, is definitely my fifth most shoes bag of 2022. I hope you have enjoyed my video. If you have not done so already, would you please consider subscribing to my page? I'm hoping to hit that 250 mark at some point. I would love to hit it by the end of the year. So please, please, please go ahead and subscribe. I try to post videos weekly. Also, if you've liked this content, please give me a big thumbs up and feel free to leave me some comments. Um, let's discuss the bags that I've uh, presented today. Do you guys have any of these bags? What's your thoughts on them? And I'm going to tag a few people below as well for them to hopefully create their version of their five most used bags of 2022. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Until next time, be safe.